Hola muchachos, ¿qué tal? Buenas tardes. Aquí tienen el horario para hoy, martes el 9 de noviembre. You guys didn't have any homework due for today. A couple learning targets to cover for today's class, to talk and write about who and what people know. And then the new concept for today is to talk and write about how long people have been doing certain activities. For you to talk about how long you've been doing the extracurriculars, the hobbies that you're involved in. Uh, your warm-up for today is a recap of last week's lesson on saber and conocer. And your warm-up is to complete numbers 1 through 12 on slides 15 and 16 of the saber and conocer PowerPoints. So you can click there in the agenda and that will take you to the PowerPoint. And essentially what you're doing is First, determining which of the two verbs to use, and then conjugating that verb in its correct form. Now, you guys should be using your notes from last week for this. Here on page 56, you have the conjugations of saber in the present, and the conjugations of conocer. Both of them mean to know, and what we looked at last week was, well, what's the context in which each is used? Saber is to know facts, to know information, and then also to know how to do something. And so your context clues for saber will be interrogatives. Quién, cuándo, dónde, cómo, por qué, uh, the who, what, when, where, why, and how in Spanish. Those would be your context clues whenever... We're talking about knowing facts or information. And then for saber, it'll always be followed by an infinitive, a verb in its unconjugated form, uh, when you want to talk about how to do something. So like this example right here, there you have saber conjugated in the yo form. And then jugar would be your verb in the infinitive. Conocer, on the other hand, is to know people and places. So any reference to a person or a place, more often than not, will result and you're using conocer. So that is your warm-up for today, filling in the blanks for numbers 1 through 12 on both slides there. Figure out which verb to use, saber or conocer, and then conjugate it. And we'll go over those answers together in class. Then we'll just do a quick recap of the notes that we took last week. Uh, let's see, on page 56 that I just reviewed with you a moment ago. And then before we get into the final grammatical lesson for Chapter 1B, again, Chapter 1B, all, your, all about your extracurriculars, uh, your hobbies and interests. The last concept is the grammar concept on page 58. And that is ase, used with expressions of time, for you to indicate how long you've been doing your extra, extracurriculars and hobbies and interests. So before we get into this, and we're going to continue it next uh, next class, next week, before we dive into it in great detail, we're going to review how to tell time in Spanish. Of course, we ha can't have a conversation about you know expressions of time if you don't have the fundamental skill of telling time down pat. So this is actually out of the Spanish 1 textbook. Uh, we're going to go over the expressions used to indicate what time it is currently. The question that we ask in Spanish when we want to know what time it is. ¿Qué hora es? And then you'll do a little bit of practice with your partner identifying what the time is here. Uh, writing it out in digital format, numerical format. And then do the opposite. I'll give you the digital format and then you'll write it out in Spanish as the time is expressed. So that's where we're going to leave off. We may dive in a little bit into these notes on page 58, uh, but we're not going to do anything more than that. Uh, we'll pick up this work next week after the four-day weekend and get you guys ready for your test, which will be next Wednesday for those of you that are A days and next Thursday for those of you that are B days, covering all of Chapter 1B, the vocabulary about your extracurricular involvement, um, the verb saber and conocer, uh, hace with expressions of time, 
and then also uh, comparisons of equality and inequality using tan or one of the forms of tanto. So a lot to cover for chapter 1b. We're kind of wrapping it up here in these last few classes and getting you guys ready for your test. Again, next Wednesday or Thursday. No homework at all for the weekend. Enjoy your four-day weekend. Y nos vemos en clase, muchachos. Adios.